UAB has hired former NFL quarterback and current Nashville area Lipscomb Academy High School football coach Trent Dilfer as their new head coach, uh, replacing interim coach Brian Vincent, who replaced Bill Clark when he uh, quote-unquote retired back in June due to a back injury that required surgery. Now look, you had to know that something stank when you started hearing Clark's name pop up as a potential coach at some of the open jobs this cycle, but you really never heard Clark mentioned as possibly returning to UAB which is the program that he basically brought back from the dead. Uh, The coaching search was handled by UAB AD Mark Ingram, who was hired back in 2015. Now, before that, he was Associate Vice President, Executive Senior uh, Associate Athletics Director at Temple, but this is the first time as the guy for a a, uh, football hire, right? From everything that I've been told, this was another situation where the finances were not great for them to go out and make a good splash hire, uh, which is what they really wanted. Now, there were a lot of names around this coaching search. It was rumored that the most realistic candidate was Western Kentucky's Tyson Helton, who wanted to get out of the new CUSA. Uh, But you also heard names like Tom Herman early. He was never interested in the job. Uh, Justin Fuente, uh, former Mississippi State and Florida head coach Dan Mullen. Now, Stephen Godfrey mentioned on Split Zone Duo that Ingram had sold the UAB brass that Mullen was interested in the job. They scheduled a meeting with him, and Mullen never even showed up to the meeting. Like, the, the search by Ingram was completely botched from everything that, that you, by just reading the tea leaves, right? Now, I've got to mention here that UAB players started an internal and a social media storm to try and get Vincent retained as a permanent head coach, uh, but my stance on this has always been the same. You can't leave the decision on on who will lead your football program to student athletes that won't even be at the school more than a handful of years anyway, right? Like we, we see this with Memphis football. We've seen it with interims that have not worked out in the past. Eh, UAB indeed got a splashy hire with Trent Dilfer, but I don't know if we can count this as a good hire yet. Now I've got no doubt that Dilfer knows football. What I don't know is whether or not that's going to be able to translate to him being a good college football coach when he's never even been an assistant coach at the college level. Now he's been head coach at Lipscomb Academy since 2019. Uh, They have gone 38 and 8, but making the jump from Tennessee high school football coach to AAC head coach is a really big sell. Uh, So what exactly did Dilfer sell? Like, it it had to be his ties to Elite 11, I would imagine. Basically a guarantee that, hey, you hire me, you're going to get a stud quarterback, which can absolutely turn the tides in a transition from Conference USA to the AAC. Now, if you get the right quarterback, you can generate a ton of excitement around the program, which is exactly what they need with a brand new stadium, a new facilities. That stadium's in the middle of downtown Birmingham. Like, UAB could not afford to screw up this hire uh, with all the new restaurants and shops, etc., being built uh, around that new stadium. The entire city is invested in UAB athletics. So, uh, let's hope that Dilfer surrounds himself with some former head coaches, some experienced assistants that really understand how a college football program operates. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.